Hello everyone, this is Batmalata Science Faculty. The way to get started is to stop talking and begin doing. Today we are going to discuss about the topic electricity. So electricity, we used to come across the word, right? Whenever we want to do anything, if you want to watch the TV, you have to switch on that. Whenever you want to do something like uh, preparing any food items, you used to run a mixer grinder, right? So what helps them to run? The electricity, right? So nowadays we people feel it very much efficient to run this electricity. Just think about the olden days, about our ancestors. How did they do? They don't have any electricity before, right? So how do they make the light? So whenever we, whenever the sun set, we used to switch on the light and we will be sitting in the brightness. But in olden days, they don't have such a facility. So our ancestors, they depend on fire for light, warmth and also for cooking. So in order to cook also, they used to do get the firewood from the forest. With the help of the firewood, they used to burn it and they use, and they cook the food for their life. Okay. So and also if they feel so much cold, they will be sitting in front of the fire. This fire gives us light as well as heat. Okay. Are we doing the same now? No. We are very much blessed with the help of this electricity. If we want to sit in the brightness, we just switch on that. What happens? The different colored light will be glowing. When we want to cook, we have an induction stove nowadays. We have gas stove as well as the induction stove. If the gas is over, we will be moving to, on to the alternate induction stove. When we switch on, this will prepare us the food and give it to us. If we feel so cold, we have room heater. So we will be switching on. So with the help of this electricity, we are very much blessed to have everything handy. So without electricity, we are not living. So right from your wake up till you go for the bed, we depend on the electricity. Right? Whenever we feel so sweat, we used to switch on the fan, AC. How it is running? With the help of the electricity. Do you think it is used only in homes? No. Besides home, it is very much helpful in colleges, schools, communication systems and many more industries and factories. So in order to manufacture any things, they are using the machines. How they will run the machines? With the help of the electricity. So this electricity plays a vital role in our life. So let's move on to our video. So let's see what is the history of electricity. How it is being invented. So this electricity is not a new thing to invent. It is just present. We have to discover it. We have to Upgrade it. Okay. If you see a Greek philosopher named Tales of Miletus, he was the one to discover the concept of electric power. He was the one of the person, he is the one of the Greek philosopher named Tales of Miletus who found the electric power. He just moved on by, found, by finding the electric power. If you see this person found the concept of electric power by rubbing a piece of amber on a fur. So fur or wool. Okay, it's nothing but the a woolen cloth. Alright. So he just rubbed a piece of amber. Amber is nothing but the fossilized wood. It is used in ornaments and for the decoration purpose. Okay. So he just rubbed this piece of amber on a fur of fur. And he found that 
after rubbing this pieces attracted the small pieces of dust this amber attracted the small pieces of dust particles and some other small particles he was very much surprised to see that so he wants to know what makes that amber to attract the things towards itself so he found that there is some electric power present in that that's why it is attracting the things the scientist named benjamin franklin in the year of 1759 he stated that electric power is of two types there is two charges positive charge as well as the negative charge so he needs to prove that right so he made a kite experiment he made the kite in the form of silk cloth and he tied the rope at the one end of the kite and the other end he suspended with a key it's nothing but a metal key and on the tail of the kite he kept a bell jar with a metal string okay he made the setup of the kite he flew this kite during the thunderstorm during the lightning and the thunderstorm he just flew this kite to make his experiment he needs to prove it consists of two types of charges right so he made this kite experiment and flew during the lightning and thunderstorm and he observed that this lightning attracted the metal key and the charges are being accumulated in the bell jar that charges is of negative charges the charges that is being accumulated in that jar is the negative charges the charge that is accumulated by the thunderstorm is the positive charge so he proved that the electricity consists of two types of charges that is positive and the negative so later on they made many inventions that there is two types of electricity one is static electricity and dynamic electricity let's move on to that in the further topics right if you see the word electricity it is derived from the greek named electrons e l e k t r o n s electrons it is obtained from the greek electrons which means the amber so amber is nothing but the fossil is to wood in which it attracts the small pieces of dust and things then later on they just found the latin language they just found the word from the latin language named electrum some other scientists they stated that electricity is obtained from the latin language called electrum then from the old latin to the modern latin they said that it is obtained from the word electricus which is nothing but electric which is nothing but electric so by this only they just found the word electricity let's see what is meant by the electric current electric current is nothing but rate of flow of electrons in a conductor so the rate of flow of electrons in a conductor so before knowing about this we have to know what is meant by electrons okay so we have to know what is meant by electrons so electrons is nothing but the minute particles present in the structure of the atom there are three main particles present in the atom protons neutrons and the electrons this atom consists of the nucleus in the center in which protons and neutrons are present in the center of the nucleus this proton is nothing but the positively charged particles neutrons are the neutrally charged particles it may be either positive or negative it it differs based upon the bonding in the molecular structure and if you see there will be orbits present around the nucleus in the orbit the electrons revolve in this orbits the electrons revolve around the nucleus if you see the electrons they are negatively charged they are negatively charged particles protons are positively charged particles electrons are negatively charged particles and neutrons are neutrally charged particles protons and neutrons will be present inside the nucleus and electrons will revolve around the nucleus 
these are all the minute particles present in the structure of the atom. This electron may be loosely held or tightly held. Okay, it may differ. If it is very much tightly held, it may not move. It won't move. If it is, if the electron is tightly held in the atom, it won't move and there won't be any flow of charges. If it is loosely held, the charges will move and that forms the electric current. If the electrons move, we can say that charges move and it produces the electric current. So now listen, rate of flow of electrons in a conductor is called a electric current. So how, how many electrons are moving? How much electrons are moving the based on that the electric current flows in a conductor. So conductor is nothing but the material which allows the electricity to flow through it. So what is meant by electric current? The rate of flow of electrons in a conductor. Okay. So if you see the symbols for the proton, neutron and the electron, proton will be given in the form of plus. Neutrons it will be given in the form of circles and electron always will be negative so minus. Okay, these are all the symbols of the electron. So students, I hope this will be very much helpful for you. In this session we have discussed about the electricity, the history of electricity, how it is being invented and discovered. Then later we have discussed about what is meant by electric current and the structure of the atom. Let me see you in the next video. Thank you and bye bye.